Hello everyone, I'm Leaf Kicker, and in this video we're going to talk about this unique one-of-a-kind sculpture I made inspired by Reddit. Too long didn't view, I made this piece in hopes to create a little bit of revenue for some much-needed studio improvements. If that's something you think you might be interested in doing, check the description below. If you want to hang out for a little bit longer, I'll show you some of the features this designer toy has to offer. As required by Reddit, I brought bananas for scale. I wasn't sure if you'd want empirical or metric, so I brought both just in case. This guy is made out of a poxy sculpt over a metal armature. and weighs about as much as a cat, about 10 pounds. He stands almost two feet tall with his horn. There's some Reddit snooze that come with it. These guys have little magnetic hands and feet, so you can pose it all over the sculpture. I added a lot of hidden magnets and washers for them to attach to, so you can get all kinds of cool poses. I even made sure to think of Australia, just in case. The narwhal is where you can store some of your extra supplies. Here there, little guy. He's in there chilling. He's got a little pineapple. Reddit likes their fruit. Here's a banana just in case you need to measure something. In the back of the narwhal, a little bit of storage for your pitchforks, in case you need to go get all social justice warrior on something. And we have some angry eyes. Because Reddit is definitely not always happy. And not everything is an upboat. You can take this guy off and swing him around. He's got a strong magnet. Look at that. That's a strong one. Move on over to the downvote position. And you may have noticed some upvote and downvote arrows. These have little icons on the back. Help you promote some things you might be interested in. Patreon. Oh, that's a tiebreaker one. Etsy, Twitter, YouTubes, Instagram, Facebook. I tried to give you a variety of options. I don't know what you're going to want to use this sculpture for, but I know you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm a professional artist and micro manufacturer, and I spend most of my time crafting unique deck boxes and board game accessories. These are a few examples of the deck boxes that I produce. These are some of the 3D tiles that I create. Over the summer, I took a break from my normal daily routine and made this unique piece in hopes to uh, sell it at Christmas to generate some much needed revenue for studio improvements. I'm going to include the Sharpmander piece. I made him a while back when Sharpmander was a thing. He's made out of epoxy clays. This narwhal is where you're going to store most of your pieces. I crafted these pitchforks out of nails. If you uh, wait till the end of the video, there's a short little work in progress. Uh, on how this piece was made. I just picked up these high definition uh, recording glasses and was attempting to learn how to use them whenever I was making this piece. Crafted a couple different eyes for the narwhal. The eyes have magnets worked into them and there's a magnet on each side of the head where you can place the eyes. You got some angry eyes and some happy eyes. The two fruits included are a pineapple and a banana. Both have a magnet worked inside. And you're going to have a number of upvotes and downvote signs. These signs have little nails here so the snooze can hold on to them with their magnetic hands. And on the back are some various icons. There's five different snoo versions, each with a different head, based on some of the popular memes you might see on the internet. And you can fit four of the snooze along with all the accessories in the back of the Norwell. A couple extra magnets might come in handy. And there you go. Everything settled nicely in the back of this guy. 
the snoos uh, have little little ball joints that fit in a hole that they can do a lot of different poses with, with the magnets and their feet and their hands. There's magnets all over this piece, as I saw earlier. And there's the escape. This piece was made out of resin and has a magnet in the end. That way, if you accidentally bump it, you're not going to break it. It'll just come off. It's a pleasure to be able to craft for you guys. I hope you enjoyed getting to see what I do. Thanks for watching, everyone.